Have you ever wondered about the current state of the Panama Canal, the lifeline of global trade? Let's take a step back in time to understand why this waterway is so crucial. Over a century ago in 1914 the Panama Canal was completed, an engineering marvel that forever changed the face of global trade. Imagine, if you will, the world without it. Vessels from the Atlantic and Pacific would have to navigate the treacherous Cape Horn at the tip of South America, adding thousands of nautical miles and numerous days to their journey. The Panama Canal, a 50-mile waterway connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is like a massive conveyor belt for global commerce, a shortcut that saves time and, by extension, money. Every year, more than 14,000 vessels carrying over 200 million tons of cargo traverse this canal. Massive container ships, oil tankers and even cruise liners, all of them rely on this narrow strip of water. Strategically positioned, the Panama Canal serves as a critical junction for international maritime trade, connecting over 140 maritime routes across the globe. From the United States to China, from Europe to Australia, the goods we use every day, the fuel that powers our cars, and the food that fills our tables, much of it passes through this canal. But the Panama Canal is more than just a conduit for goods, it's a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. Its construction was fraught with challenges, from the harsh tropical environment to diseases that claimed thousands of lives. But against all odds, the canal was completed, creating a vital link between the world's oceans and cementing its place in history. Now imagine a world where this artery of global trade is compromised. What if the ships stop sailing, the goods stop flowing, and this historical marvel grinds to a halt? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But what if this vital artery of global commerce is in danger? What could possibly threaten the Panama Canal, an engineering marvel that has stood the test of time? Imagine a world where the Panama Canal, a lifeline for global trade, faces serious threats that challenge its very existence. One key threat is climate change, which, like a relentless adversary, has begun to take its toll. Unpredictable weather patterns have caused shifts in rainfall, with periods of intense flooding followed by severe droughts. The canal relies heavily on a steady supply of rainwater to operate, and these drastic swings in weather patterns could seriously impede its functionality. But climate change is not the only villain in this story. A more insidious threat lurks beneath the surface. Water scarcity. The canal's chief water source is the Gatun Lake, and its falling water levels are a cause for concern. The lake, once brimming with water, is drying up, and the canal's locks, which require a vast amount of water to function, are threatened. As the world grapples with the water crisis, the Panama Canal too is feeling the pinch. Adding to the list, the increasing size of ships poses yet another threat. The canal was designed to accommodate ships of a certain size known as Panamax, but today's ships, dubbed New Panamax, are larger and need wider and deeper canals. The Panama Canal with its century-old design is struggling to keep up. Let's not forget the economic threats. With the rise of other maritime routes, competition is fierce. The Suez Canal, for instance, has been expanded to accommodate larger vessels, posing a significant threat to the Panama Canal's dominance. These threats, each formidable on its own, are converging to form a perfect storm that could potentially undermine the future of the Panama Canal. A marvel of engineering, yes, but even marvels have their vulnerabilities. Could these threats spell the end for the Panama Canal? A question that sends chills down the spine of anyone who understands the essential role this canal plays in our global economy. As we delve deeper into this issue, one thing is clear. The Panama Canal is under threat, and its survival is anything but certain. What would happen if the Panama Canal ceased to function effectively? Let's consider the potential ramifications. Economically, the decline in the Panama Canal's functionality could have a considerable impact. This waterway serves as a vital lifeline for global trade, facilitating the transport of goods between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. If the canal's functionality were to dwindle, shipping costs could soar. Why, you ask? because ships would have to navigate longer, more time-consuming routes around the southern tip of South America. This could add weeks to delivery times and significantly inflate transportation expenses. Now imagine the ripple effect this would have on the global economy. Increased shipping costs would likely translate into higher prices for consumers worldwide. Everything from electronics to food items could become more expensive. Businesses, particularly those reliant on international trade, could suffer potentially leading to job losses and economic downturns. 
But the consequences aren't purely economic. The environment could take a significant hit too. If ships are forced to take longer routes, they would burn more fuel, leading to increased carbon emissions. This is particularly concerning, considering the urgent need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to combat climate change. Moreover, the alternative shipping routes are not just longer, but also riskier. For instance, navigating around Cape Horn at the southernmost tip of South America is notorious for its treacherous waters and unpredictable weather. This could lead to increased maritime accidents, jeopardizing both human lives and marine ecosystems. In essence, the decline of the Panama Canal could set off a domino effect of economic hardship and environmental damage. The canal's health is not just a concern for Panama or the countries that directly use it, but for the entire world. It's a global issue, one that reflects the interconnectedness of our modern world and the delicate balance that exists within it. The implications are far-reaching, but is there any way to save the Panama Canal? Stay tuned as we delve into potential solutions in the next segment. Is there hope for the Panama Canal in the face of these formidable challenges, one may ask? Well let's dive into some potential solutions that have been proposed and are being pursued to save this lifeline of global trade. First up, technological innovations. Technology is constantly evolving and it's one of the most potent tools we have to tackle the issues plaguing the Panama Canal. Automated systems for water management for instance can help to optimize the use of water in the locks, reducing waste and maximizing efficiency. Moreover, advancements in meteorological forecasting can aid in the prediction of extreme weather events and allow for better preparation, thereby mitigating their impact. Next, let's talk about water management strategies. The need for sustainable and efficient water use cannot be overstated. The Panama Canal Authority is exploring options such as the construction of new reservoirs to increase the canal's water storage capacity. They're also considering the implementation of water-saving basins, which recycle a significant percentage of the water used in each transit. International cooperation is another crucial aspect of the solution. The Panama Canal is not just a Panamanian issue, but a global one. The world needs this pathway, and it's in the best interest of all nations to contribute to its preservation. This could involve financial support, sharing of expertise and technology or even global initiatives aimed at climate change mitigation, which is a major threat to the canal. The Panama Canal Authority is at the forefront of these efforts. They are not only implementing these solutions but are also investing heavily in research and development to find new ones. They're working tirelessly, exploring every possible avenue to ensure the longevity of the canal. These solutions offer hope but the question remains, will they be enough to save the Panama Canal? Well, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the fight to save this global artery of trade is far from over, and the world is watching, waiting and hoping for the best. These solutions offer hope but will they be enough to save the Panama Canal? What can we do to ensure the survival of the Panama Canal, you might ask? Well, the answer lies with us. The Panama Canal, this great marvel of human ingenuity, needs our help. And we can contribute in more ways than one. First and foremost, we need to spread the word. Awareness is the first step towards action. Share the knowledge with your friends, family and colleagues. Let the world know about the challenges that this vital artery of global commerce faces. Social media can be a powerful tool in this regard, so don't shy away from utilizing it to its full potential. But spreading awareness is only the beginning. We must also support and advocate for sustainable practices. This includes everything from water conservation to renewable energy. The threats to the Panama Canal are largely environmental so it only makes sense that our solutions should be environmentally friendly as well. We can also make a difference by supporting policies and initiatives aimed at preserving the canal. This can be as simple as voting for leaders who prioritize environmental sustainability or as involved as lobbying for specific legislation. Remember, every action counts no matter how small it may seem. Lastly, we must foster a culture of respect and appreciation for the Panama Canal. This isn't just a man-made waterway, it's a testament to human innovation and perseverance, a monument to our ability to overcome the most daunting of challenges. The more we value the canal, the more motivated we'll be to protect it. In conclusion, saving the Panama Canal isn't a task for a select few, it's a responsibility that we all share. We are the custodians of this world and its wonders, and it's up to us to ensure they endure. So, let's rise to the occasion. Let's be the change we want to see. The fate of the Panama Canal rests in our hands. 
Let's ensure it continues to serve as the lifeline of global trade for generations to come.